my name is Katie Roars. I am the gymnastics coordinator with Foothills Park and Rec District. I hope everyone is doing well during this difficult time. I miss seeing all of your smiling faces during classes throughout the day. I cannot wait to get back into the gym, and I'm sure all of you are eager as well. But until then, we have this wonderful Foothills at Home page where we can make videos that will help you guys um, at home, even though we don't have classes right now. So. Um, in gymnastics, we always say that handstands are the most important skill uh, because it is the foundation for every single skill that you will do from beginning all the way up through team. So we really like to work on lots and lots of handstands. So I thought it would be appropriate for um, the first gymnastics video to be handstand shaping and handstand drills that you guys can do at home. Even if you don't already have a handstand, these drills are for kiddos who have handstands and kiddos who are still working on getting a handstand. The shaping is really important because that is the foundation for starting to have a really great handstand. So when you guys move up through the levels um, and you get to team, we will be ready to rock and roll with great handstands. So let's get started. Okay, so the first drill, you guys will need a t-shirt. That's it. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna stand straight. This is a shaping drill. So you're going to hold the t-shirt like a rope with your arms about shoulder width apart. You're going to put your arms up over your head behind your ears. Kids have a tendency to do skills here. We want them with their arms behind their ears. So arms behind their ears. They are going to take their ribs and push their belly button into the back and tuck their ribs up right in with that belly button push to the back. So they're here, S tuck your belly button in, squeeze your ribs in, but keep your arms behind your ears and squeeze your booty and squeeze your quads and just push up through your shoulders and hold this position. That is how a handstand should feel when you are upside down. If they can do that, add in a releve, which is just going up on your toes. Arms back behind, Squeeze your ribs in, squeeze your booty in and your tailbone. Tailbone gets tucked underneath as well. And lift your toe up onto your toes and releve and squeeze and hold it. So that's the first drill, all right? The second drill, we are going to be on the floor. And this drill is the same thing. It's just laying down here. So. They are going to want to ex lay on the ground like such, extend their shoulders all the way up so that their shoulder is touching their ear, just like that. And they are going to want to push their armpits into the ground. It's a really small motion, so you might not be able to see me do it. You're here. Push your armpits into the ground, and you're going to do that same belly button. Push your belly button into your back. Belly button goes into your back, which should create this upper body hump. So if you watch me here, shoulders go up, and they round out just like that. So once they get the belly button and the upper body hump, they're going to want to take their hip bones and push them into the ground. And the way they do that is to squeeze their butts. Here, squeeze your butt, push your hips into the ground, and that should pick your feet up off the ground just a little bit. They're gonna wanna hold that. So here, armpits into the ground, belly button in, hips into the ground, hold that. And now, they can test each um, body part. So they're gonna push, push their armpits into the ground, and then release. Push their belly button into their back, and release push their hips into the ground, and release. That way they get the feeling of doing those things. So when they are in the handstand, they can feel, oh, my belly button is not in, it is hanging out. So let me pull it in, because now I know what that feels like. All right, so for the next drill, you guys will need a chair. Okay. So we are going to get into handstand drills now. Um, so for this drill, we do this one. We do 
a couple of these actually in classes. Um, so once we get the handstand shape, we're gonna wanna try to start doing the handstand. So the first thing they need to do a handstand um, is a good lunge into a good lever. So their lunge should be one foot in front, slightly bent, one foot in back. They should create a long lever from their leg, their back leg, through their back, up to this arm, like they are reaching for something. Heel down in the back. So they're, they're, they should shoot for their shoulders to be behind their ears, reaching, reaching, like they're trying to grab something off of a tree. Okay, I always tell them in the gym to reach for the windows because it's right at that diagonal through their leg. Reaching, reaching, just like this. So they want their shoulders, always, always shoulders, instead of here, pushed up into their ears or ne right next to their ears and their ribs tucked in, their belly tucked in and their everything is squeezed, booty squeezed. Like that. So I'll show you that lunge one more time. Reach, just like that, okay? So the next drill we're gonna do is for the lever. Like I said, we do this in class. Um, I know that I've done this with classes too. So they want a chair, a couch, a bed, a table, anything will work. I'm gonna use a chair for this one. So they're gonna start in their lunge here. This is the lever part. So they go lunge and then they lever and then they should be able to kick into a handstand from here. But in order to work on their lever, where we use this drill, so they have the chair in front, they start in their lunge right in front of the chair and they lever, tap the chair, come back up into their lunge and finish just like that so lunge lever tap the chair back to their lunge stay in their lunge and just chest out and finish awesome okay so the next row we're going to do is getting more into actually doing the handstand so we're going to do what we call half handstand quarter handstand um so you're going to need just a chair and yourself so what you guys are going to do is I know this is hard to see um, you're gonna have your hands on the floor and we do spider walks um, in the gym during classes where they put their hands on the floor and they walk their feet up which I will show you guys next um, that's a really great way to do a handstand with some support but um, we can start with half handstands so that they get the feeling of where vertical is some kids are afraid to kick up into a handstand especially on the beam which is absolutely understandable so we do these half handstands for them to feel okay this might feel like vertical here when I'm kicking up because I haven't felt vertical before so when we do the half handstand they are able to feel okay I need to kick up just a little bit further in order to get to vertical and it also gives them a sense of oh this is how I can feel the control instead of kicking up boom as hard as they can and just going this way and continuing on that way especially if we're thinking about in the future where we have oh handstands on the beam where kids only kick up to here thinking it's vertical so this is a great way to help them feel where vertical is and also feel how they can control it so their hands are going to go on the floor and their feet are going to go on the chair and they are going to get their hips and legs to a 90 degree a 90 degree angle so you're here and you're gonna be like right here. Head tucked in, pushing against the floor, and they're just going to lift one foot up and feel that, and then they're going to lift their other foot up to vertical and feel that as well. So they can do that as many times as they need to. The last row that we are gonna do is our wall handstand our spider walk wall handstand so anybody can practice this anybody can practice any of these it doesn't matter what level you're in it doesn't matter um, what skills you were working on what skills you had before we left these are drills that anybody in any level can do and it will benefit all the way up even through team so this last one handstands on the wall we like to do belly handstands against the wall because it helps them feel that shape um, when they do 
back against the wall, they have a tendency to sink into their lower back a little bit more. So they're gonna put their hands on the ground and they're going to, we call these spider walk handstands. They're gonna spider walk their legs up the wall until they can get close enough. We'd like their nose and their hips on the wall, um, but take it at your own pace. Whatever, you, whatever your child can do, whatever they're comfortable with, even if they can only go up halfway, anything um, will help at this point, absolutely. So here, spider walk your feet up the wall. Back your hands in so that your nose and your hips are on the wall. Squeeze your belly button in, tuck your hips under, and you can just hold it. And in order to come down, walk your hands out and walk your feet down. So, um, I know it was hard to see my hands, but sometimes we have kids with the, the wall is here, their hands are all the way out here. Make sure you get your hands in as close to the wall as possible um, without losing balance and falling forward. Those are today's handstand shaping and handstand drills. Um, I hope that you guys find this to be useful. Um, and I hope that you guys stay safe and healthy and well. And we will see you soon. Yay. Thank you.